Hey, it's Amanda with the Locklear Lending Team. And on today's Mortgage Minute, we're going to discuss the differences between a pre-approval versus upfront underwriting, something that we kind of specialize in. Okay, when you're out shopping for a home, rewind, when you're thinking about shopping for a home, you get pre-approved, right? Right? Well, watch the wording on these because a pre-qualification, a pre-approval, and then upfront underwriting approval are all very different things, like a, an apartment or a condo or an alligator or a crocodile. They look similar but one will help your offer stand out and the other will eat you. Okay. So we briefly discussed upfront underwriting and the five ways to win in a competitive market video. But what does that all mean? So let's give some context here. The underwriter is the ultimate gatekeeper, triple checking that you can repay the loan and that all loan guidelines are being followed. I know, they probably don't have too many friends, but what they do have is the final say in your loan approval, not me. I unfortunately do not have the power. Most loan officers and mortgage companies will wait until you're under contract to send a file through to underwriting. But why wait until literally everything is on the line? We go ahead and send your loan to the underwriter. Then they say, hey, everything looks great or not great. And here's what we need for approval before you're under contract to legally purchase a home. Again, let's all get plenty of rest, let's avoid stress that could have been avoided, stay hydrated, and just get your loan in upfront underwriting. P.S. This costs nothing extra to you. We just want to help you actually close on your home and feel awesome about it. Oh, five seconds to go. My name's Amanda with the Lock of Their Lending Team. Get your loan upfront underwritten and have an awesome day.